G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another special and today I know I'm boring you with this but I, I, I love it. This is now the Hercules but the M2 Hercules. M2 Hercules? Yes, M2 Hercules. It is, yeah, this is the other ship. Now I know that there is a debate going on between the C2 and the M2. The B1, C2, B2, A2, I don't know. There are so many bloody letters in there. But anyway, I think there's three really. But anyway, I'm trying to line myself up um, to see uh, which one makes sense for a screenshot. I don't know why the um, top is opening, like the roof, but I haven't called for it yet. But anyway, now there is a slight difference in this one and it is basically cargo capacity, slightly. I don't know why. <laughs> I really don't know, but I thought, bugger it, might as well give both of them a bit of a test just to see what I can see. And at the moment, well, so far, it looks exactly the same. And no, you're not looking at the different footage, just to confirm, here you go, this is the M2. And today we're going to take the ladder. And I'm not going to do it in the third person view because, well, we know how that ended up on the other one. Um, so that's okay, even though it looks like the character's missing a few runs, no problem there. So let's go have a look, shall we? Um, here is, oh, auxiliary crew, all right, interesting, armory, all right, um, oh, I'm starting to see the difference now, uh, suits and weapons, okay, cool, so this is a little bit more of a, um, I would say, I'm going to get my ass kicked for this one in the comments, but maybe a troop transport, maybe, is this, oh, did I miss that door? Oh, I did too. Yeah, you idiot, Evan. Okay, how about over here? Same as the other ship so far. Let's try this side. Again, nothing to see down there. Twisting my head like I can actually influence it. All right, habitation. This ought to be interesting. Oh, kitchen. Okay, this one seems to have more amenities than the last one. Unless I completely stuffed up. And there's more beds here, I think. I'll go back and have a look later. Um, but all right, main deck. Again, there's no um, captain's quarters, but that's okay. We can live without it. No problem. What's the difference in the cockpit? That's what I want to know. What's the difference? Because so far... Ah, three seats. Okay. What's the third seat for then? Um, okay. I don't know. But that's not a problem. Nothing we need to worry ourselves about now. But uh, yeah, okay, cool. Um, all right, so this looks very similar, and I'm pretty sure it is, to the <laughs> to the previous one. Um, so I'm not going to spend too much time looking around. I think we all know what this is. Let, let's just go do a run and see what we've got. And um, let, let's see how it flies. I think that's the easiest part. Let's just see how it flies. So we're waiting for the door to actually open, or the roof in this case. Now I'm gonna, okay, it takes off quite nicely as well, pretty much like the other one. I'm gonna wait for this one to fully um, open, unlike the last video where I thought I would actually be able to scrape on by and smack the sides of it. So let's have a look. Okay, that looks fully retracted to me. There you go. And it's not nighttime on Microtech, it's, or at least New Babbage, it's daytime. So let's have a look. Give it a bit of. Wah. Okay, it, it's a little bit nimble, I don't mind it. Alright. Thank you. I can. I'm actually quite impressed, to be very honest with you, on both um, the M2 and the C2. I haven't flown the other one, the bomber one, but. Um, yeah, I'm quite impressed with just the way that these big things actually handle. So, yeah, that, that for me is a bit of a win there, folks. So I can understand why these things have such a hell of a price tag, because they're actually pretty darn good. Um, again, I'm still in, I'm still torn between the Caterpillar and um, between these ships. But uh, I, I definitely see the appeal here, folks. I definitely see the appeal. Please don't get me wrong. Um, all right, cool. This is quite awesome. Uh, thinking about it now, I wonder what this thing would be like in combat, but I'm not going to do that today. Um, so here we go. We're just going to go in and just get some cargo, come back. That's basically the run for today. It's a cargo run. 
I really want to see what this what this is going to look like, how it's going to look like. Most likely exactly the same as the other one. Um, but yeah, do I see someone in the... Hang on. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why am I... I'm not the only one here, am I? Oh, this is going to be interesting. Whoa! You should have learned from the last time. Okay, let, let's do a reset. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> Land a little bit better. Okay, much better. Much better. Oh, come off it. <laughs> Piece of shit of a thing. All right, I gotta learn how to land these things. Come on, there's absolutely nothing stopping you from landing correctly. Come on, get down. All right, engines I've killed. No, maybe, no, you, come on. Huh. Okay, I'm not going to get points for this one at all. <laughs> and if you want to pay me out in the comments, go for it. Um, but yeah, okay, not what I would call a perfect landing by any means of the word, but... Um, a landing nonetheless so I did see something coming in or someone so this is gonna be interesting uh, because if someone else is here what are they getting now, again obviously I'm not here to make millions and millions and millions of in-game credits but I know it's going to be um, interesting to see what I'm actually gonna get so let's take the elevator down shall we let's do the test to see if I can actually get out of the ship with the elevator um, okay so this time I don't have any issues for it being down on the um, bottom level because we never went up with it so let's see moment of truth exit ship okay again very similar it's almost an identical uh, video <laughs> as the other one and I don't mean it to be like this folks it's just that it was the way that I was doing these ones um, so yeah bugger it leave it there who's going to steal this <laughs> fatal last words yeah there is a ship there i wasn't stupid i did definitely saw someone there okay so someone else has got the same idea as what i have they've come on in and they're going to get some cargo as well or they're doing a package delivery run that's also possible yeah, look, the, the person's in here, you can tell. There he is. Oh, there she is. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so, well, they're in front of the console. Can't do much about that now, can I? They look quite busy there. All right, what, do you, what else can I do? Um, look around, you're still going. Loot. Why don't we just loot while we're here? So what do we got here? Anything interesting? I'll just start moving. Ooh, I'll need one of those. That's one of those tractor beam emitter thingies and I'm just putting it into the local area for now. Can I just put this on? Is it gonna let me? There you go, folks. There's always a good reason to loot. Don't ever think that you're above looting. You'll find shit here that you can use and I guarantee you when they actually reset your accounts, in patch 3.18 you will be looting <laughs> so this uh, person has kindly stepped out of the way and as we can see what have they left us with well the stuff that would make money obviously not but we're not here to make money so let's just take this one was that 411 or 417 i can't see properly from here anyway let's get out of here we we know what we're coming for we came here just to, to have a look and see, have a good laugh. That's what it is. That's all we're doing. We're just testing the ship out. And I must admit, I like the way that these, um, both Hercules actually fl have flown so far, to be very honest. The landing, I don't like. <laughs> um, it would make a bit more sense if maybe the front landing strut was a little bit more, like, forward. So the, um, the let's just call it, the, the ship would not tilt or have a tendency to tilt but i've also seen some other youtube videos and apparently i'm not the only one that has this um particular flight issue <laughs> let's say like that so lower deck let's have a look 
I want to see what this cargo looks like. Now, I have mentioned it before and I'm going to mention it again. I'm interested to see how this is going to work when they start saying, put the cargo in your ship yourself. Um, yeah. But again, why do they have that middle area empty? You couldn't even put more cargo in. I don't get it. So let's walk up the um, back, shall we? Have a look. Jeez, that's a lot. <laughs> Fuck, that's a lot. Say what you want. That's a lot. In comparison, look at that. Okay, there you go. <laughs> that was going to be theatrical, but it didn't turn out to be. All right, fair enough. Can't complain. Up the ladder we go again. Come on, you mongrel. Looks like I'm missing every rail, but it looks like the game knows it's still climbing. All right. Mm, they can still fix the animation in that one. That's not a end disaster type of scenario. So let's have a look. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. So we're going to do what we did before, folks. Pilot seat. Shall I take off from here or shall we just go straight back to Microtech in the landing area? Let's take off a little bit. Why not? Put a bit of realism in here. Go up. So landing gear is also up. We'll do this from inside the cockpit. Now outside the cockpit. It's quite nice. And now we're going to come in for our approach, folks. So we've lined ourselves up. Shall we give it a bit of stick? Shall we just give it a bit of power? Go on, power, power, power. No. Nope. Yeah, let, let's uh, let's play conservative. I don't want to actually have an issue that I'm gonna not be able to um, deliver this cargo because this is a lot. So um, where are we? Yeah, let's let's call for the landing thing now and try to figure out where they're gonna put us. Okay, that was quick, especially for Microtech. Um, okay, cool. We're going this way. So. It looks like, if I don't do anything stupid, I can just line up and go straight that way. There you go, it's opening as we're flying in. We'll just pick this particular flight path, shall we, folks? Got the landing gear coming down, that's all done. And now we have to make sure I don't crash into anything. That's the tricky part. <laughs> but again, the wind is kind of pushing me slightly, which is a little bit annoying. But then again, we expect you want realism in the game. You just don't want to go point and go. So, here we go, folks. I've got my cargo full of everything. We're coming in for a landing. Am I going to nail it the second time? Meaning, is it going to be okay or is it going to be absolutely ridiculous? Okay, so far, so good. Uh, I'm a bit close, but that's all right. Put this down a little bit more. Far better than um, some of my other landings in the past. Come on. Go a little bit down. Yep, let's have a look from here. Let's change the angles. Okay, so far it looks alright. Trying to keep the nose up, realizing that I'm not exactly where I should be, but that's okay. We've got time to correct. No problem. Alright, I'm going to just touch down. Kiss. Mwah. Uh, did that work? I don't know. Well, I'm not down. All right. Engines are off. Let's give him a bit of a side view. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Second time's the charm. So, folks, thank you very much for watching. And if this works out as I expect it to, we may just break the 5 million. Maybe. Yes. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a very nice rest of the day.